Alrighty, what's going on guys? So by the title and thumbnail of the video, we are going to be going over the new Succession Musa changes that recently just came out in the middle of February. So basically, if you want the short answer, I do think that overall these are good changes to Succession Musa. There are a few things that I'll touch up on in the video that I particularly, dis particularly dislike. Jeez. Um, <laughs> there are some few things that I dislike about these changes, but overall, I do think that we are in the positive. Uh, I am very happy with these changes. So first off is the chase change, which I would say is the most important change within these uh, buffs to Musa and Mewa. And I'm only going to be going over the Musa changes. I do not play Mewa. I don't have enough context to give an opinion on Mewa. I've never played the class in my life. And I'm only a Succession Musa main, so we're just only going to be covering the Musa class. But yeah, the first skill that we're going to be going over is the Chase skill. Uh, so basically what they did, they made Chase duration a lot longer. So the distance that you cover in Chase is a lot longer than before. The one thing that they did take away was the Evasion Hotkey to where you can keybind it and spam it over and over. So this is me holding that key you no longer can do it it's quite literally just the same as dashing so this is me just dashing normally without holding it so with that being taken away it's a little bit unfortunate just because you were able you were able to cover more ground in a quicker amount of time as opposed to now where you can only cover the same amount of ground in a shorter period of time but with the distance being increased of our chase i am pretty satisfied with it and also you can like curve it which is nice so like while in the animation you can kind of curve around, which I really really like, whereas before it kind of seemed like you were just going in a straight line from point A to point B, where in this one it kind of seems like you can curve around. And I really do like these changes. Uh, the I know for the longest time a lot of people would complain that the Awakening dash was more superior than the Succession. Um, I don't exactly know uh, what the comparison is now between Succession and Awakening. I was told that the Succession one is now better, but I'm not exactly sure. I do not play Awakening, but if you are an Awakening player, feel free to comment below. I still wish that they would add a Prime version of Chase to where the after image of the ability, like how you can see your after image behind him, I wish that they would make a Prime version of Chase and then make it blue instead of it being red, since all of the Prime abilities for Succession Musa are blue. But that's just my personal that's my personal take. I know that there's a few other people that would like that as well. But um yeah, hopefully they can make that a thing later on. But overall I think this is a good change. Again, it kinda sucks that you can't do the uh continuous thing anymore with the hockey. Uh second thing that they changed was stub arrow. These changes are kind of irrelevant in my opinion. They don't really change anything. Uh, in an impactful way. I mean, they changed the first shot to be performed even faster, that's cool. And then the stub arrow changed duration uh, from 60 seconds to 3 minutes. Don't exactly know why they did that, but I mean, again, this doesn't really change anything too drastic, so we're just not gonna touch that up much. Uh, blind Thrust 1 to Absolute, they changed the melee accuracy rate from minus 30% to minus 18%. Uh, this is whatever, I guess. Uh, they did improve it so that blind throws can be comboed during frontal chase, which is nice. But the uh, minus accuracy rate, it's whatever. I mean, you mostly use this just for the initial plus 30% crit hit rate. But now that it's minus 30, or now that it's minus 18 as opposed to minus 30, that's just like a small nerf, but it is what it is. You can't really argue with that. But getting that 10% hit crit rate is still a big thing, so... Now that I guess you can use it in and out of chase easier, which is nice, in frontal chase. Uh, the stub arrow evasion shot, this is a really good change, I think. So they changed it to where the character no longer collides with moving while using the skill, so that's just like a useful effect now. Uh, no longer consumes 200 stamina while using, this school, while using this skill. That's a big help. See how my stamina is going down slowly over time. So instead of it just draining it all at once, uh, it's a really nice change, I think. And then once it's off cooldown, I will show you how you can like do it in and out of abilities real quick. So it's like they change the way that you can go in all that stuff. I think it's really cool. So overall good changes. Uh, help, help
helps with our stamina as most succession booster players know stamina is our biggest downfall but um stamina doesn't recover here but it is what it is i still think this is a good change overall uh dragon bite they fix the issue of number of hits being applied differently according to the distance and they change the number of hits applied to the same at all levels so with dragon bite here uh all the way up through absolute and prime so i just have it using prime but the distance now used on it is a lot better so there like i messed up at first i did backstab slash initially hold up but the distance now is just a lot easier and it's a lot more manageable so instead of having to be as close up uh the damage applied is a bit different which is nice so overall good change very proud about this or very happy about this <laughs> not proud what uh blind slash this is gonna be one of our biggest catches uh they changed the skills attack and extra attacks to apply the same damage so blind slash being one of our biggest catches here um it's not going to change a whole lot but having the extra attacks to apply the same damage is really nice so instead of like damage fall off or anything like that we don't have to worry about that what do I, I don't know why i keep doing that in this, like off topic i'm just so used to doing uh sm backstab backstab slash i don't know why but overall i'm very satisfied with these changes so blind slash there and then uh debite don't know why i keep doing that there we go having the same applied damage which is really really good uh change uh backslip slash here we go so change the skills applied to the same number of hits regardless of attack range again these are these three are mostly just like attack range and uh apply on hit damage so let me do backslip slash here for you guys so d bite and backstep slash and uh blind slash blind slash d bite and backstep slash there we go all the damage is still going to be applied overall very happy with these changes um they're just overall nice fixes, you know? So these are considered buffs. Very happy with these. Uh, Crush Crusher, I really want to skip over this, but oh, this skill is so annoying. I don't know why they keep changing frontal guards and all this ground, like, basically they improved it to where it activates a bit faster. Let's say we do Chase, Gale, Crush Crusher. Like, apparently it's a bit faster, but again, it's still a really, really bad skill, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, they removed the forward guard and down smash, and they changed the knockdown effect, so it's also applied in PvP. I don't really know what PA wants to do with this skill. Um, it's pretty useless, and they keep moving forward guards around on our abilities. I don't know why. So before they had put the forward guard on this abil ability, but then they removed the knockdown on PvP, but now they put the knockdown back on PvP, and they remove the forward guard so i don't really know what they are trying to do with this ability um and then they noted here in case of forward guard it would be transferred to prime blooming which we'll get to after this they added mountain divider which is basically the substitute for it um changed hit crit rate to 100 percent, but i mean with buffs and everything we basically can get 100 percent crit and then they changed the pvp damage reduction from 44.1 to 49.1 uh i personally have never found myself using this skill in any situation in pvp unless i'm literally just throwing a hail mary because i'm so far in the negative of winning a match like if i'm fighting such a downhill like an upward hill battle where i'm at the bottom like for example in arena of solaire if i'm in a 1v3 situation and i know i'm gonna lose sometimes i'll just do it just because why not but this ability is just useless i don't understand why they keep changing this and then what i also think is our biggest con in these quote-unquote buffs um they removed the stun on pvp and now it only applies on pve but they added a forward guard to it but the biggest issue with prime blooming now is now that it does not have a stun our only real catches are quick shot and um in our stub arrow so we only really have the two catches right now but it is what it is because like obviously we can get a catch through that and it's like oh we get a knockback or whatever and then we can engage off of that or we can get the quick shot go off of that me personally i would use the stun on blooming as a way to engage where i could catch people off guard and where it's like, okay, let's say I use my quick shot and my quick shot's down. 
like if I throw this out and they block it or whatever and I don't get any uh, CC off of it. If I'm like dashing around, I throw out a, I throw out a blooming and I actually hit the stun. I'm able to engage on that, but now the stun is only applied on PVE, but that's irrelevant. Um, but they added a forward guard to the ability, which I don't really understand why they moved the forward guard onto this ability. It's not one of those things that requires a forward guard because the ability is barely on screen, you know. So. It's just a little questionable as to why they added that, but again, it is what it is. I hope it gets reverted, but again, that is just my opinion, and I'm sure that a lot of other Succession Musa mains are pretty sad about this from what I've heard. And then, uh, lastly, we have Fiery Angel. So they improved it so that Serene Mike can now be obtained while using the skill, which is really nice. So it's going to be pretty nice to, I guess, use like Blooming or Gale after... But no changes really to Fire Angel that are negative like whatsoever. They just added it to where you can get Serene Mind off of it now. So it's just another ability for us to uh, combo off of, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, overall, I am very excited for these buffs. Uh, I know in the, in the title and thumbnail and in this video, I referenced them as quote unquote buffs. And the only reason why I say that is just because of this right here. Again, that's the only con, honestly. Everything else is a is a net positive i again wish that they would just remove this ability uh it has no use so please don't use it um but if, if you're like a pve casual player like no, none of these are really going to affect you this is mostly like pvp stuff in my opinion um sub arrow changes again kind of irrelevant these are really nice everything else is really nice the backstab slash blind slash dragon bite Really, really good to add the unhit effects and damage and distance. Really, really good. Uh, Chase, very, very happy with how Chase is now. So, but yeah, overall, these are really, really good changes. I am very happy with the way that Succession Musa is heading. The only thing I'm really still salty about is just the Prime Blooming. I know I've said that multiple times in this video, but again, it's just, I don't understand why they would put a forward guard, forward guard on that skill. But it is what it is. If you guys have any thoughts or opinions, please leave a comment below. I am completely open to discussion. And if you guys are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We're almost at like 3,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help out at all, that would be greatly appreciated. And while you're down there, leave a like. It helps out the channel greatly. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So take care.